Hello. Today, I'm going to talk about the new Cloud Lifecycle Manager, referred to as CLM, that is included in SUSE OpenStack Cloud 8. CLM leverages the power of Ansible to automate cloud deployments. The main component of CLM is the configuration processor. This module reads in a customer definition referred to as an input model. CLM also includes a set of predefined OpenStack service definitions. Using the input model and the service definitions, the configuration processor creates Ansible output that is used to deploy an OpenStack cloud. In addition, it also creates a set of information files that fully describe how the cloud will be deployed. These files include information about the cloud topology, as well as the servers, networks, and service definitions that make up an OpenStack cloud. We even provide an ASCII art diagram and also a set of HTML files that can be viewed in a web browser. Another piece of CLM is the extensive set of Ansible playbooks that cover the full life cycle of cloud services. For example, starting, stopping, and checking the status of a service. Finally, CLM also includes a set of example input models that can be used as a reference for creating models for your own environment. These models range from a small entry scale cloud to a much larger mid scale deployment. In order to understand the input model, we need to define some objects that are used in the model. We have services. They attach to networks. They have dependencies upon other services. We have networks. They have routes to other networks. They are connected to specific servers. They can be tagged for specific usage by Neutron. We also have servers. We define how they're used. Are they compute nodes? Are they controllers? How is the storage and network interfaces configuration done? And finally, we have control planes. This defines a set of services hosted based on a group of specific servers. We also provide load balancers for their services. We also need to understand how these objects are used. For our cloud architecture, which services are included? Where do they run? What region are they in? For our networks, how does each service connect to the network? How is traffic routed between networks? Servers, what are the different server types in the cloud? How should the local storage be used? How do network interfaces map to specific networks? And finally, physical constraints. Which networks are connected to which sets of servers? And how are the servers grouped for availability? This diagram is an example of a mid-scale deployment. As you can see, there's a lot of flexibility in how you deploy a cloud in terms of where services run and which networks are used. These are the main components of the input model. They are divided into several categories. Cloud architecture, server definitions, network configurations, and service definitions. We will examine the input model in more detail. The animation is used to highlight how an input model is processed. A cloud consists of one or more control planes. A control plane runs one or more services, such as Nova or Neutron. 
Control planes use servers with particular roles to run different sets of services. Servers have a role which defines how they will be used in the cloud. Servers can be in a server group. This can form a hierarchy. This can be used for high availability. Servers can be linked to a NIC mapping that enumerates network ports. The role of a server determines which disk model is used to configure its local storage. A network is part of a network group. Service endpoints are attached to networks in a network group. Networks in a group may be tagged as being significant for a service. Network groups may define routes to other network groups. The role of a server determines which interface model is used to configure its network interfaces. An interface model maps network groups to specific sets of ports, whether they are single or bonded. Networks can be used by servers in one or more server groups. Networks within a network group route to each other. Control planes use servers and networks from one or more server groups. Firewall rules are applied to one or more network groups. Thank you for learning more about the Cloud Lifecycle Manager included in SUSE OpenStack Cloud 8.